In game five, we welcome you back from the Orlando bubble. Time now to throw it down to public address announcer Olivier Cedra for the trophy presentation. Joining us now at center court with a special presentation, please welcome TNT's Ali LaForce. What an incredibly hard fought game, everybody. Before we crown our Western Conference champions, we first have to give a round of applause to the Denver Nuggets and congratulate them on an incredible run. They made history with their grit, their fight, and their talent by overcoming 3-1 deficits twice in a postseason. And this will be remembered, and they should be proud. I know the city of Denver is. And now, your Western Conference champions. louder but I can assure you all of Los Angeles is clapping right now so we start with the leader the man drawing up the plays head coach Frank Vogel coach uh, credit to all our players okay these guys are the ones that are sweating out there getting the job done when we have a talented group like we have that buys into playing together, that buys into playing harder than our opponent every night, playing more physical than our opponent every night, playing scrappy. Um, you can accomplish great things, but this is not where we're finished, right? The job is not done. We're happy with winning this conference championship, but the job is not done. Good job, guys. Coach, one more for you. Remember when you took this job, you called it a great responsibility to be able to coach LeBron James at this stage in his career. What's the joy like to now be standing here, getting to this moment together with him as your leader? Yeah, I didn't hear all the question, but you know we're we're happy we're happy with where we're at. You know we we won the the Western Conference, which is a stacked conference, uh, loaded with talent, loaded with great teams. Um, but we know we want that, that bigger trophy. It was that crowd. They're so excited, you know. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. How about Anthony Davis steps up to the mic? What do you say? There you are. AD, you're going to the finals for the first time in your career. When you hear that, what's it sound like? Feels good. Um, you know, it's good to get something like this accomplished with these group of guys. You know, we battled through a lot this year, um, starting with the beginning of the season. And we know the job's not done. And that's a great feeling, but we got four more to win for the ultimate goal. So uh, while we enjoy this, we still got work to do. Since day one, LeBron James has said this offense has to run through Anthony Davis, so there's no point of having him on the floor. What kind of responsibility do you take in that? Um, it's my job. That's why Rob and the front office brought me here to be able to compete for a championship with these guys. Put a great team together uh, and talked to Bron beginning of the year. And he told me, you know, we're going to go as far as, as you go. So um, I took that responsibility with him and all these guys, you know, following me and, and, and helping me along the journey. I mean, it's tough. I've never been in a situation before, but having a group of guys like this, it makes it a lot easier for me. Congratulations on the win. Thank Enjoy it. it. General Manager Rob Polinka. Rob, do you want to? Rob, do you want to say a few? <laughs> you said we were intentional, intentional about looking for players who were winners to fill this roster. There are 15 championships between your players and your coaches. What makes this the team that can add one more for everybody else? That's the biggest thing, man. Just the character, the championship character these guys have. That was something that everybody in the front office identified as we put the pieces together. Um, and that championship character is going to carry us in the next round when we play either the Celtics or the Heat. And like Coach said, our job's not done. We got four more wins to go. Congratulations, Rob. And now the man, the myth, the legend, LeBron James. LeBron, you've been known to say, don't talk about it, be about it. And you were all about it in that fourth quarter. Out of all your playoff experience now in your 17th year in the league, how did you channel that experience to take over there in the fourth? Um, I channeled it through my teammates. Uh, my teammates said, bring us home. And um, it's my responsibility to try to make the right plays and do the right things out on the floor to help us win ball games. Um, 
we have a few guys on our team that's never been to the finals before, so I took that responsibility as well. And, um, you know, my shoulders is wide enough to carry a lot of load, uh, but my mind is stronger. I always keep my mind strong, and I'm happy to just be in this position. How much of this is joy, and how much is still business to be done? Uh, we're going to enjoy it tonight, as we should, because this is not promised every year. Um, there's only two teams that can advance to the finals every year, um, and that means it's uh, pretty much 30 players um, that only advance every year to the finals. So we're going to enjoy it tonight, but we understand that we got bigger fish to fry. Um, we understand there's a bigger goal, um, but we can't take this for granted because this doesn't happen every year to, to anybody. Congratulations, LeBron. Enjoy your right, fun thanks, night, Adam. everybody. Your Western Conference champions, Los Angeles Lakers.